Senior officials in South Africa have appealed to ordinary citizens not to take the law into their own hands as vigilante groups form following days of unchecked looting and violent protest across a swath of the country. Thousands of soldiers have been deployed to help police on the street, but law enforcement agencies still appear unable to stem ongoing attacks by crowds on warehouses, supermarkets, shopping malls, clinics and factories. The country's defense minister, Nosiviwe Mapisa Nkakula, told the parliament on Wednesday that she had requested around 25,000 more soldiers to be deployed on the streets. In many parts of Gauteng and KwaZulu-Natal, the two provinces hit by the violence, vigilante groups and armed community patrols have formed as anxious residents seek to protect their homes and businesses. Also in the wake of the unrest, South Africa's largest refinery, Sapref in Durban, has been temporarily shut down in order to prevent an unfortunate accident. The death toll from almost a week of unrest has risen to 72, some from gunshot wounds, and more than 1,750 people have been arrested. The uprising in the southern African country was packed last week when the former president, Jacob Zuma, was taken to prison to begin a 15-month sentence for contempt of court after refusing to appear before a judicial inquiry investigating corruption under its nine-year rule, which ended in 2018. Zuma's decision to hand himself in was seen as a victory for the rule of law, but protests organized by supporters quickly evolved into widespread violence and looting. Though the unrest appeared to have subsided, on Tuesday, scattered incidents of violence and arson were reported, with warehouses looted and burned in several locations. The billions of dollars of damage are a massive setback to an already weak economy, with investors' confidence undermined and South Africa's image as a regional leader badly tarnished. Kamil Sadiq, reporting for CBA TV.